Hello everyone. Welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to study the questions which were asked in Gate 2018 paper of Aerospace Engineering. Just to give a summary of this, the questions from mathematics subject is there were total seven questions asked out of which four questions were asked for one marks and uh, three questions were asked for two marks. So let's try to solve these questions one by one. Coming towards the first question, let A bar and B bar be two distinct vectors that are non-parallel. Then the vector C bar, which is A bar cross B bar is, okay? So uh, it's a cross product of the two vector. We know like if we have one vector, and if we have another vector and uh, they are non-parallel to each other, means they'll intersect at some point and their cross product is always perpendicular to it, okay? So it's uh, always perpendicular to both the vectors A bar and B bar. So the option B, D is wrong. Option A is also wrong. Option C will be correct. That is orthogonal to A bar plus B bar, okay? so it will be orthogonal to the vector, which is A bar plus B bar. Because uh, it is orthogonal to both A bar and B bar. So coming towards next question, consider a function f of x comma y, which is equal to x square by two plus y square by three minus five. All the roots of this function and we have the four options. If you look into the function, uh, x square by two plus y square by three minus phi equal to zero, if we do, so it will be equal to phi. And uh, we can clearly see that this equation can be reduced to this form, x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to one. So if you bring this phi to the left-hand side, we can easily convert this equation into this form. And this is a standard form of um, elliptical equation or the elliptical curve. So we should uh, select the option B here, uh, which says that all the roots of this function lie on an elliptical curve. So option B is correct in this case. Coming towards next question. It is again from the vector field. So vector field is given by xi plus yj plus zk. And uh, this vector field is, and the options are related to the divergence and curl. So if I say v bar is this vector, which is xi plus yj plus zk, okay. And uh, if you take the divergence of this vector V bar, it is dou by dou x of x plus dou by dou y of y plus dou by dou z of z. So it is one plus one plus one, and that is three. So it's clear that divergence exists. So the option A and C are wrong. So you can directly choose option B at um, B at this point, but still uh, to solve it completely, we will calculate the curl as well. Curl of the vector V bar will be equal to I, J, K, dou by dou X, dou by dou Y, and dou by dou Z. and uh, x, y, and z. And if we calculate, we'll clearly see, um, we'll get 0i plus 0j plus 0k. Curl is zero in this case. So the option B is correct in this case that the given vector field is curl free, but not the divergent free. Coming towards next question, this again, one more question. The determinant of the matrix is. 
So very simple question. So let's calculate the determinant. One into one minus zero minus one into two plus three two plus z two minus zero okay and plus of minus one into two minus three so ultimately what we get is one minus two and here minus one into minus one is plus one so ultimately we'll get zero okay so zero is the correct answer in this case coming towards next question this is a two marks question the solution of differential equation is asked here where we have some initial conditions um, at x equal to zero we have y is equal to zero and dy by dx equal to one so let's try to solve this the given equation is d2y by dx square plus 3dy by dx equal to zero so in this case uh, we can write it as a d square plus 3d equal to zero which can be written as d into d plus 3 equal to zero hence the value of d is either zero or minus three so the root of this equation can be written as y is equal to c1 e to the power 0x plus c2 e to the power minus 3x so this is a complete solution of the given differential equation because it is a homogeneous differential equation so complementary function will be the solution in order to calculate c1 and c2 the initial conditions are given at x equal to 0 y is equal to 0 so we can say 0 equal to c1 plus c2 yep so c1 plus c2 equal to 0 there's the first equation we'll get here and um, so if i simplify this y how we, i can write it is c1 plus c2 e to the power minus 3x and if you differentiate it divide by dx you will get it as c1 will become zero so it will be minus 3 c2 e to the power minus 3x okay so divide by dx will be one at x equal to zero so one will be equal to minus three times c2 this implies c2 is equal to minus one by three okay if c2 is minus one by three we know c1 plus c2 is zero so c1 has to be equal to plus one by three okay the complete solution will be one by three if you take common one minus e to the power minus three x so this is the complete solution one by three one minus e to the power minus three x okay hence option b is correct in this case coming towards the next question consider a vector field v bar which is um, equal to minus y by r square i plus x by r square j where r is under root of x square plus y square the contour integral v bar dot ds bar where ds bar is a tangent to the contour that encloses the origin is okay so this question is given in the form of a cartesian coordinate system it will be easy for us to solve this if you convert it into the polar coordinate system because mm, the contour is like this enclosing um, the origin so and uh, the equation is x square plus y square equal to r square is given here so 
if we can assume that x equal to r cos theta, whenever we are converting any um, equation from uh, Cartesian to polar form, the basic assumption is x equal to r cos theta, y is equal to r sin theta, and then uh, we will get x square plus y square equal to r square. So using the same concept, we can write x equal to r cos theta and uh, y is equal to r sin theta. So dx can be written as minus r sin of theta d theta and dy can be written as r cos of theta d theta. So integration, contour integral v bar ds bar and be written as integration minus y by r square because v bar is minus y by r square it will become dx plus x by r square dy. How we have written is like using the basics surface integral f bar dot ds bar can be written as integration f1 dx plus f2 dy plus f3 dz okay where this f bar is f1i plus f2j plus f3k so using this concept we are writing writing it like this and now in order to convert this integral from cartesian to polar we'll just do the substitution of x y dx and dy so x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta so and dx is what minus r sin theta d theta so in numerator we'll be having r square that will cancel out with the denominator so directly i'll write the first term is minus sin square theta d theta integration 0 to 2 pi okay because it's a integration over a contour similarly integration 0 to 2 pi will become cos square theta d theta and here it will become minus minus plus so it's overall integration 0 to 2 pi sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1. So it is 1 d theta and uh, integration of 1 with respect to theta is theta itself 0 to 2 pi. So 2 pi is the answer which is 2 into 3.14 which is 6.28. Okay. So 6.28 is the correct answer in this case. Coming towards the uh, next question. Uh, this is the last question from this paper. The magnitude of the X component of unit vector at a point one comma one that is normal to the equipotential line of potential function phi of R where r is equal to under root of x square plus y square each. Okay, so given that phi of r is um, equal to one upon r square plus four, the equation of equipotential line is given by is given by d phi equal to dou phi by dou x into dx plus dou phi by dou y into dy which is equal to zero okay um, so you can call this as minus u and this as uh, minus v and uh, slope of uh, equipotential line dy by dx is minus u by v 
and that will be the slope of um, normal okay so let's try to uh, let's try to solve this um, um, through this example the equation of uh, equipotential line is given and we are differentiating it and equating to zero in order to get the um, uh, normal okay so how it will be do by do x will replace five with the given equation one divided by r square plus four and r is nothing but the um, under root of x square plus y square so we can write it as x square plus y square plus 4 dx plus dou by dou y of same term 1 divided by x square plus y square plus 4 dy equal to 0 and then if we differentiate it The differentiation with respect to x is two x divided by um, x square plus y square plus four whole square dx plus two y divided by x square plus y square plus four whole square dy equal to zero. And if you take the denominator to the right hand side, it will become zero, and uh, the the overall equation will look something like this: two x dx plus two y dy equal to zero. So, if you further simplify it, dy by dx can be written as. Um, minus one because uh, we want at point one comma one so when x equal to one y equal to one we can clearly see uh, two two will get cancelled so we'll get minus one so if this is the slope of the tangent to the potential line okay equipotential line because phi is this function and if we differentiate the function we'll get the tangent and if you take a normal to it if you want the normal to it then you just take a inverse of it. So you the slope of the um, dy by dx is or dy by dx is minus one, then in that case, slope of the normal also has to be minus one. Okay, so we got the slope, but the question is what? The question is the magnitude of the x component of the unit vector that is normal to the equipotential line. So we want X component of the normal. So for example, this is our normal, which is uh, whose slope is um, one, and we want magnitude of the X component of the unit vector. So the X component of it is um, this. So it will be one cos of 45, and uh, this is a unit vector, for example. Unit vector means one. And uh, its uh, um, cos component will be one cos of 45. And uh, we can write it as uh, cos of 45 is one by root 2 and which is 0 0.707 okay hence the final answer in this case is 0 0.707 so um, that's all we have for this 2018 paper i hope you understood all the questions thank you